Hey, Buck. Oh, man. Yeah, me too. I also have like an idea, but I really don't know <laughs> where to put it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that would be really cool. And it's like, uh, maybe my wife will kick me out if I put that up. It's like, I was going to try and get like one of those city skyline uh, sound diffusers for the, for my listening room. Um, it's basically made my office it has two speakers in it in a very precise location. Um, and that's about it. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing one of those diffusers cause you know, since it's like a small room, um, a lot of acoustic, uh, problems, uh, when it comes to like high fidelity music experience, um, by the way, guys, if you're ever gonna get into that, uh, I mean, I got into it. It's it's really cool to listen to music and in, in a really cool environment. But there's so much snake oil on that that hobby. It's it's insane. I've seen people sell cables for a hundred thousand dollars. A cable, a coaxial cable. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Hello, guys. I know Random Tinker was here. Did not know Shanigans was here. Yeah, why? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, oh, my low oxygen cable will tickle your eardrums. It's like, no, it won't. Nobody will notice the difference. It's too much money. Yeah, we'll tell that to an out of audio file. <laughs> Those snobs will. Uh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, when they start telling you, like, oh, you have to lift up the cables off the floor. So there's like no interference and all that stuff. Can you really listen to that interference? Come on, give me a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's basically it, you know. So it's a market. It's a clientele, and they're gonna milk it dry. That's. You, that's basically what every salesperson does. They're trying to upsell you on everything. <laughs>